Hi, I, I'm Billy Brooks, and we brought virtual production to Doctor Who. This is the back of our stage, and we have 320 panels that together form the giant LED panel that we have on the other side, which acts as a whole. It's basically a giant TV screen. And action! So in order for us to maintain the right uh, perspective when it's on camera, we have this tracker, which is also called a crown sometimes. And what this does is talking to all of our motion tracking cameras that are along the edge of our screen and up here and right behind you also. So what that does is it tells the camera where it is in 3D space and where it's moving and turning and that makes sure that this always looks right. My main attention is on first off making sure that the orientation of the wall is really looking where we want our main view to be and the second is that the blending between the practical and the virtual is seamless. So you see no difference between what you see on set, what is filmed with practical lights, and what is all digital. You have foreground, midground, background. This is exactly what you want. Yeah. These pieces in the foreground, the performer is in the midground, and then our stuff is in the background. This is really selling it. This is when it works the best. And then just a little hint of fog in the foreground yeah, we'll put that to in. embed that, yeah. you know, yeah. practical. And then this is this is great. Maybe a little flicker fire. Mm -hmm. That's yep. it. There you go. Flames up. Thank you. And let's have a red light bell. Those lines that you're seeing are the actual camera rays that are hitting the tracker that Billy probably already talked about. So that's actually being tracked in real time. Um, if they move the camera right now, you could actually see it moving through the virtual space. Just try to maximize uh, the amount of space that they'll capture. So if we, you know, if we do a camera move from back here, if they want to use a crane, we have that uh, fully captured. One of the advantages of using LED screen instead of, uh, say, blue screen or green screen, as a creative, like a showrunner or a director, they can play with the environment because this is a 360 uh, degree environment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a creative tool. When you get into it, you just get lost because there's just a lot of freedom in playing with uh, the angles and, and different um, camera positions. A lot of discovery happens on it. For instance, we have a shot, we really like how it's composed and like everything's working, but maybe here, see how we're moving the sky, actually? because we want to make sure that our sky matches our key light, this bright light, to sort of match the foreground. So we're moving the sky. If we needed to, we could just um, hide some of the mountains. If it's like, it's too crowded and we're in camera, so it's not working for me. How about we put the TARDIS a bit further over to the right? Screen Billy. right? Yeah, the here. tiniest bit. See, it's there. Okay. Sip. Screen right, please. Just a little bit more. So we have the ability to change that on the fly and it's live so it's not you know six months down the road in visual effects it's right now and everybody's present that has a say in that can actually you know um, have opinions about it get it changed on the day and it's done um, action. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.